All right, good morning from Schiphol Airport in Amsterdam, Netherlands. So right now, I, uh, I just landed from JFK, New York City, and I am rushing right now to make my connecting flight to another country and I'm going to take you guys along with me for this flight. We're going to land in this new country and start exploring a brand new city. Let's get going. All right, welcome to Split, Croatia. So all those clips you just saw were the drive from the airport here in Split uh, to my guest house, which is basically in like downtown Split. Um, so for today, I'm probably just gonna take it kind of mellow. I'm gonna go out, I'm gonna explore the town. I don't think I'm gonna do much filming. Um, I have another full day in Split tomorrow before I head uh, elsewhere in Croatia. And so um, I'm planning on doing like a whole Split video for you guys tomorrow. And for today, I'm just going to kind of chill out, explore the city, see what there is to see, and then um, kind of get ready to really film this video for you guys tomorrow. Um, which I like to do when I have the time. It kind of gives me a little bit of time to actually like get the lay of the land, explore the place. Um, I do like doing like first impression videos, but uh, for this, I think I'm just going to um, get a lay of the land and then um, just hit it hard tomorrow with a, with a full video. So this is just the view behind me uh, from my balcony that I have here, uh, the room in, in my guest house. Okay, so I will see you tomorrow from downtown Split, Croatia in three, two, one, now. Okay, good morning guys. So it's the next morning now. Um, I had a chance to explore the city a little bit last night and um, I gotta be honest, this is one of the most beautiful cities I've ever seen in my life. Um, so I'm just walking down from my guest house now, coming down to the main square. Um, and this is kind of like the main uh, intersection of the main town here. And it comes down along this waterfront all over here, which is kind of the docking area, which is where all the boats take off from, um, for the islands and for Italy. This is a major hub to get to um, at least the eastern coast of Italy from here. So there are two main differences uh, with this vlog that you'll probably notice from some of my other ones. Number one, I'm not using a microphone with my DJI action camera. Reason being is that when I went back and looked at all of my Georgia footage, uh, which was recorded a lot on my action camera, you could really easily see the microphone coming over the lens. It's such a wide angle lens that it picks up like everything and that's great for a vlogger and for recording, but it's also kind of intrusive when you put a microphone on top of it and like every single clip, there's a microphone wind cover bouncing in the clip. So I think the internal mic on this is okay. I'm gonna give it a shot and I'm gonna just see how it goes. A lot of vlogging is honestly just kind of touch and go and see how things work and see how they don't. But this is the main waterfront here that I just came down to. So like I was saying, this is where all the main boats take off from. But for today, let's start by getting out of the main square here, 
um, and going into the narrow streets behind me of all the buildings that you see behind me and explore this very beautiful old ancient Roman city on the Adriatic Sea. So this is one of the main squares here. Um, there's another one that we're going to go to in a little bit. But all of these narrow alleyways come out onto um, either a little tiny gathering area or a bigger one, kind of like this one. It's also so hot here and just like blisteringly sunny. <laughs> so if you're coming here, make sure you bring enough sunblock because it's like... I think every day here, at least in the summertime, is just super sunny with like no clouds. So the other thing that's nice about this city is you don't really feel like, as a tourist, like I'm not really hounded by people trying to sell me stuff. I mean, there are like your classic restaurant tours and whatever standing outside, but like no one is really like hounding you um, to come do anything, which is really nice. So like I said, the whole city is basically like at least the old section or the tourist section is this narrow these narrow alleyways and you kind of come through them and they come out to another main square here this is a bigger one this is the bigger one that i was just telling you about where um this is lined by restaurants and shops and this is a much bigger square much bigger gathering type of area <laughs> so what i'm going to try and do now is find a spot to grab some breakfast and coffee um, as you can imagine this is not the cheapest part of the city for food but if you do um, if you do get out of these main squares these main plazas and back into some of these alleyways even though it's a super touristy area you can find decent food for a good price. I had an amazing dinner last night at what seemed like a pretty local spot actually. There were no tourists and it was a little bit out of the way of these main plazas. But yes, I mean it's not like the cheapest place in the world. You're not traveling through Vietnam or um, other parts of Asia. So let's see if we can find something good to eat and get some coffee. And then after that, I want to take you guys to one of the local um, markets that they have in the city. There's a lot of produce markets. And um, I stopped by one last night, but they were closing down. But what they did have left out looks really awesome. Um, as you can imagine, super hot, super dry part of the world. Produce grows here abundantly, and it's probably really great. So let's go check that out after we get some breakfast. I just sat down at this little cafe here. So if you saw my recent uh, Patreon video, you might be asking yourself, Nick, why are you in such a touristy place? <laughs> um, and the answer to that question is that while I don't normally travel to places like this, which are packed with tourists, number one, I kind of thought no one would be here. So obviously I want to see Croatia and split and it would be nice to do it without tourists. And uh, I kind of thought now would be the time to do it during coronavirus, but um, awesome, thank you so much. Um, turns out that coronavirus is apparently over <laughs> and everyone is traveling internationally again, at least to Croatia or other, I'm sure other European countries that are open. Um, and so, but, yeah, even the touristy areas, I mean, all joking aside, even the touristy areas deserve a look. And I mean, this place is stunningly beautiful. I mean, like, how could you come here and not just be completely awestruck by how beautiful this place is? Um, so, I just got my coffee. I'm just gonna finish up here. I'll probably grab some thing to eat as well. Um, so far the food here is like your classic, um, Mediterranean fish, 
fresh fish, lots of seafood, uh, lots of olive oil, um, and roasted grilled meats. So, um, classic like Mediterranean Adriatic fare, which is fantastic because it's awesome. Grab some meat and then let's go to the produce market and see what we can find. And I will see you guys. There. Okay, just finished our breakfast. Um, or a late breakfast. It's like just past noon here. Didn't really film it. Sorry about that. It was literally just a bowl of yogurt. I didn't really think it would be that interesting. I'm heading down now to the produce market, which I think is the largest produce market, at least in this part of Split. This is uh, essentially like the historic quarter of Split. So Diocletian's Palace is, uh, let's see. Okay, so Diocletian's Palace is right there behind me, which I haven't quite decided yet if I'm going in or not. Um, but it's a palace from um, the Roman Emperor Diocletian, and it's still it's still in pretty good standing shape. And so um, I'm definitely gonna after this market go back into like the heart of the historic quarter and show you guys some of these um, ancient Roman ruins because they're pretty they're pretty incredible. So anyway. Heading down to the produce market now, and let's see what we can find here. So it's just kind of like these collections of stalls that are just, it actually looks like a lot of people have packed up already and went home. Um, but there are still a decent number of folks here. And wow, they just are selling everything. Look at all of this. I don't really know what to get. I definitely want some fruit and I see a ton of nectarines and cherries. So I wonder if those are common here. Maybe if anyone is from Croatia, they can tell me in the comments below, but it looks like there's... Um, oh, and plums. There's like nectarines, plums, and cherries. Alright, so I'm going to grab some of those because they're everywhere and it makes me think that they're probably like in season or something. How's it going? Oh, brother, how are you? Good. How are you doing? Good. What do you need, bro? Um, probably some of you. You live the best fruit in the world, in planet, yeah? Probably some of these apricots. Uh, you can pick okay. and I recommend you take them two, three. The, the nectarines? Yeah. I, I like to give you what's good, but good, huh? Something never tried before. Okay. All right, so uh, yeah, we need some apricots and these nectarines look really good too. Can I just put the cherries in with no, no different? Okay. Thank you. Probably gonna get charged the tourist price here, but that's okay. It's too expensive. Um. Hey, bro. Yeah. All right. So I have these are the apricots. Yeah. And cherries. Anything else? That's it. No. 
No, I'm good. Yep. I'm yeah, they look very good. I won't. I just won't. I don't have time to eat all of it. No. I recommend that. Uh, Twenty. I uh, will one more. But for me, thirty now. Okay. Thirty total. Yeah. Okay. Can you do change? Yes, I do. Alrighty. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. All right, take care. Bye. All right, 30 kuna, it's not bad. It's like, um, five bucks. Not great, not, not bad. So, not the greatest food market I've ever been to, but a nice little produce market. Definitely if you're in split um, and you want some really good fresh fruit, I would definitely come here and not uh, go to the market or like the grocery store because this seems a lot better. And I was in the grocery store last night and the prices are definitely better at this market. So, oh wow. They're just like selling all kinds of, these are just all kinds of like handbags, hats. Yeah, this is like major, this is like tourism central. This is like major, major tourism central. All right, so let's go back to the historic quarter and take a look at some of these Roman ruins. Um, because they still have up like some of the original columns from the Roman Empire. And, uh, well, that might be boring to some of you. I'm sorry. It's super fascinating to me. I love seeing this stuff. So I realize I am taking somewhat of a risk with this Osmo action and not having a microphone. This whole vlog could be completely unwatchable. Wow, it's really sunny. But I've seen vlogs of other people with this camera and no microphone and it seems okay. I'm trying to talk a little louder than I normally would, but... So anyway, so this is the historic quarter. This is like the, I should say like the heart of the historic quarter. The historic quarter takes up a couple blocks um, in downtown Split, but right now I'm kind of standing in like the heart of it. And behind me are these ancient Roman um, ruins and you can still see columns that are still um, still standing and in still pretty good shape too. Um, and then right, let me see here, right uh, there is um, the tower of Diocletian's palace that you can walk up to, which I'm going to do at the end of the day um, when the sun starts to set. So as many of you might be aware, one of my, basically the favorite thing, my favorite thing to do when I travel is to just kind of walk around and get lost whenever I'm in a new place or a new city or whatever. And Split Croatia is an ideal place to do that because you can kind of just wander these narrow streets and narrow alleyways and corridors. Um, that have no real plan, no real layout, and just kind of 
stumbled across all of these shops, cafes, bars, restaurants. That's how I found dinner last night. And uh, I just think it's such a cool experience to be able to do this. I mean, these streets are just crazy beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. They're just so cool to just wander around and get lost. the place up, yeah we know what we made of, can't get enough for you, boo, I'm a chaser, face up, now I feel a little major, blink of an eye, ego, I'm a chaser. Alright, so like I said earlier, so Split sits right on the Adriatic Sea, it's essentially a, a port city or a coastal city. Um, this is the main port behind me. This is where all the ferries and the catamarans take off from. Like I said, you can get to a good portion of the Croatian islands from Split. You can also get to Italy from here. I think Italy is an overnight ferry. It's, it's quite long, maybe 15 or 16 hours. Um, but this is, this is the water behind me. It's absolutely gorgeous in the summertime. I don't know what it's like during the winter. Obviously, this is my first time in Split, but uh, this is a gorgeous place. It really, it really, really is. And the water, um, there is a beach somewhere around here in Split. I actually think there are multiple beaches. I don't know where they are, um, but it, just looking around at the other people who are, who are here, walking around, it seems like a lot of people are here essentially to go to the beach. Most people are in bathing suits. And so um, I don't think I'm gonna try and find it today, although it would be a good day for it, but um, just know that you can come here and if you want like a more of a beach type destination. So as much as I love eating out and trying, you know, local restaurants and food wherever, wherever I travel, the restaurants in Split, as it being, are quite expensive. Uh, the food is actually phenomenal. From what I've, what I have tried so far, it's like really great, fresh local seafood, grilled meats, lots of olive oil, and salted fish and, and olives, and it's like classic Mediterranean fare that is really, really good. But it, it is, if you're gonna come here on a budget, uh, I just wouldn't come here, <laughs> to, be, to be honest. It's very touristy and it's, it's very expensive. You'll have a much better time if you're just gonna come and just kind of let yourself eat out, enjoy the food, enjoy the wine. Um, I'm only here for a day and a half. Uh, one of the reasons being is it's just very expensive. So instead, for, for lunch, what I decided to do was just go to the local grocery store right next to where I'm staying and just get some uh, bread and some cheese and some cured meats for about a quarter of what I would pay at a restaurant. And then that way uh, I save money on lunch. I had a fairly cheap breakfast, just a bowl of yogurt. And then on dinner, I don't feel as badly spending money on like a nice meal to like, you know, fill me up and just uh, spend a little money. So that's one way to do it when you're trying to travel on a budget is don't eat out for every single meal, you know, eat out for dinner only and try and make your own lunch. Maybe just eat some fruit for breakfast, something like that. That way you avoid eating out three, four times a day. Because if you do that and you come here on a budget, you'll be broke very fast. And this is the view I have. So cheap filling lunch with a view. What else can you really ask for? So I found a quieter area here, um, which is actually just up the way from my guest house.
So much quieter area actually. And just coming up to some stairs here. I'm not really sure where they go, um, but I really wanted to check them out. Here we go. Still blisteringly hot out. So these stairs are gonna be a one-time thing, I think. But let's see what's at the top. I just absolutely love these back streets here, like the design of them, and just knowing that you're walking on pathways and roads that are so, so old. Like how many people from, how many different walks of life through history have walked up these steps? It's really pretty incredible when you think about it. Wow, there is a tremendous amount of steps. Oh, Jesus. Oh, man. Oh. It'll be easier on the way down, that's for sure. Um, so, like I said, just a day and a half in split. I think if you're a, especially if you're a solo traveler, that's probably good, to be honest. It's the second biggest city in Croatia next to Zagreb, which is the capital, but the main part of the city that you would actually want to be in as a tourist is really quite small. Oh wow, look at this. No way. I thought this was gonna be like a little trip to the top. It is definitely not. It's nice that they put benches on this on the way up. That was a smart move. So the other thing too is uh, when you watch this vlog, if the audio sucks, please let me know that in the comments. Literally write your audio sucks, Nick. Look at these benches. So I get the hint that like, you know, I should use a better form of audio control. Um, some of these newer action cameras, like the DJI Osmo Action, are have much better internal mics, even than, than like some DSLRs or my mirrorless, which has a terrible internal mic. But, uh, you know, we'll see. It's been a little windy here today too, so I'm not sure how that's going to come through. I'm still going. No, I'm at the top. That's where I just came from. Oh wow, this is worth it. That is the view of downtown Split. With the mountains in the background. This is actually worth it to come up here. Definitely. Hello. Hi. Hi. I think that's cicadas. Cicadas or crickets, I don't know, but they're everywhere. Alright, so I think this is going up to a road here. Oh, actually, <laughs> the stairs continue. There's a little gate and the steps continue. I'm not really sure where. Oh my gosh, but I am not gonna find out. See, they kind of go here.
but I'm gonna I'm gonna stop here I think and take in this view I think this is a restaurant actually at the top of this thing oh wow oh what holy check this view out Oh, that was totally worth it. I'm glad I kept going. Look at this view. Wow, are you kidding me? This is nuts. So I think that island, way out there, I don't know if you can see it or not, but I think that's Havar. I think that's where I'm going tomorrow. If it's Havar, that is where I'm going tomorrow. I'm going to Havar. Um, it's the biggest... Actually, you know what? I don't think it is. I think that's Bowl or Brash. Well, I don't know. But I don't think it's Havar, because I don't think Havar is the closest island. This is stunning. This is absolutely stunning. So I think I'm gonna grab a drink at this cafe here and just kind of hang out and take in this view for a while. I'm gonna set up my big camera and get some time lapse too. Flew the drone and there's something about split where it's like a enhanced warning zone or something because there's like a military base nearby so it basically told me right when I started flying it that like I couldn't use any of my intelligent functions like my GPS or my return to home function so anyone out there who uses a drone you know what I'm talking about and I lost sight of it when I was trying to get it back <laughs> I was trying to fly it back to me and I had a minor panic attack but I ended up hearing it and so I could find it and I ultimately got it back but yeah I thought I was gonna lose it in the Adriatic there for a second um, but now I'm just at this rooftop bar here that's right next to where I flew the drone it's gorgeous it's overlooking the entire city and the port where all the ships come in so now I'm just gonna hang out here for a little bit and have a beer and uh, then head back downtown. Okay, so I planned on climbing the bell tower that's here and actually like finishing this vlog for the day on top of that bell tower, but uh, I found out it closes at seven and I found that out at 6.57 p.m. So um, I'm just gonna end today's vlog here in this really, really awesome little alleyway, which is very reminiscent of the rest of the city is split. So I hope I gave you guys a good representation of what this city is. I know it was kind of a quick one day vlog. Normally I do you know, multiple days in a city, but um, I'm heading out of here tomorrow. So I wanted to give as much information as I could for this one day. It's been a great day. I hope you got a good amount of information about the city of Split. And I will see you in the next one from the islands off the coast of Croatia in the Adriatic Sea. See you then. Take care, guys. Have a good one.